Early in our history, humans believed that the stars and planets orbited around us, and we were the center of the universe. That changed, however, over time with our understanding of the universe. But just how large is the universe? Well, it's larger than you think. You might think that the moon is pretty close to the Earth, especially since it dominates our night sky. But the moon actually isn't very close to the Earth. In reality, it's 384,400 kilometers, or 238,855 miles away from the Earth. In fact, you could fit about 30 Earths in this distance, or all the planets in our solar system in this distance. Even though this is a tremendous distance, 12 humans have set foot here, and this represents the farthest away humans have been from the Earth. Moving farther away, Mars is about 54.6 million kilometers away from Earth. That tiny dot you see right here is Earth, as seen from the Martian surface. However, the distance between the Earth and Mars can be as high as 401 million kilometers. That means when humanity sets foot on Mars, that person will be 986 times farther than Earth than the astronauts who landed on the moon were. Even further away is Pluto at 7.5 billion kilometers away. That is nearly 49 AU, or 49 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. Light itself takes 4.6 hours to travel from Earth to Pluto. If you wanted to send a signal to Pluto, it would take 4.6 hours for your transmission to reach Pluto, and then another additional 4.6 hours to hear back. Even further away, we can find the Voyager 1 space probe, which is the farthest away any man-made object is from Earth. Currently, Voyager 1 is 138 AU away from the Earth. This is a photo from Voyager 1 of Earth. Voyager 1 travels at an astonishing 17 kilometers every second. It will eventually break the reach of our solar system in another 30,000 years. Zooming out further beyond our solar system is our interstellar neighborhood. The closest other star to us is the star Proxima Centauri, but even being close, it is still 4.24 light years away. Keep in mind, one light year equals 9.461 trillion kilometers. That distance, however, is small compared to our next destination, the entire Milky Way galaxy which spans over 100,000 light years from end to end. Contained in our galaxy is hundreds of billions of stars and hundreds of billions of planets. However, almost none of these stars have heard our radio signals, as this is the furthest extent of all of humanity's radio waves. Moving further out, and we can see the local group of galaxies, which is a collection of 54 different galaxies. The local group is about 10 million light years across, although, again, this is tiny when compared to the enormous Virgo supercluster. In the Virgo supercluster, there are at least a hundred other groups of galaxies, just like our local group here. The distance across the Virgo supercluster is 110 million light years. Going farther out, the Virgo is still even tiny when compared to the Lankia supercluster, an enormous structure that is home to our galaxies and even 100,000 other galaxies. From one side of the Lankia to the other is a mind-boggling 520 million light years. But the Lankia supercluster pales in comparison to the observable universe. 
The observable universe contains at least two trillion individual galaxies. The entire width of the observable universe is about 93 billion light years across. The observable universe is everything we can see, and possibly everything we will ever see. It is possible the observable universe is just another tiny part of a larger universe, but we simply may never know, and we may never see the light from beyond our observable universe. Using the theory of cosmic inflation proposed by Alan Guth, it is theorized that the entire universe is 150 sextillion times larger than the observable universe. That is a titanic number that we have a hard time comprehending with this many zeros. But with trillions of stars, the local group is currently big enough for us humans, especially since we still haven't figured out how to leave our own solar system. And on top of that, we still have billions of years to explore our galaxy before the eventual demise of our universe. And that is how large our universe is. If you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and leave some suggestions down in the comments.